Hello folks, welcome back to our weekly NeoVim plugin video series. This week we're going to be covering a really cool plugin that I use every single day. It's called comment.nvim. It allows you to quickly comment or uncomment blocks or lines of code um, using default key maps. Um, so it's a pretty simple plugin. It's straightforward. There's not a lot to installing it and configuring it. And usage is pretty straightforward as well. So I suspect this will be a very quick video. All right, so let's just jump straight into it. We're going to install comment.envim using Packer. Packer is the uh, plugin manager that we've been using for this video series. So I'll go ahead and turn off my camera here and we'll dive straight into it. This is my init.lua file. This is where I keep all of my top level um, configurations for NeoVim. So in order to install this plugin using Packer, we have to use Packer's syntax, specifically the use directive. I keep all of my use directives in a file called plugins. So I'll go ahead and make my way over to Lua and plugins. You can see here I have all of my plugins defined. Uh, with that use statement. Um, now, this is kind of a lot for me to look at, so I'm going to go ahead and collapse all of these using the UFO plugin. And uh, now I, you can see that the, the code blocks have been folded. All right, so um, let's go ahead and add comment. So you can see here, I've already added it. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this comment. Hopefully with our new comment plugin, this would be a lot easier to do. Save that. Not only with Packer do you have to define what plugin you want to install with the use, but you also have to configure it. So I keep all of my configurations in a file called plugin configs. I'm going to go into there. Again, this is kind of a big file for me to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse these code blocks. You see it's collapsed these blocks into one line. Um, and I'm going to uncomment this line here, which is require comment dot setup. That'll call the configurations, the default configurations for comment, which is generally good enough. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and quit restart NeoVim. NeoVim is going to give me a little bit of an issue here saying, Hey, you're trying to configure comment, but it's not installed. That's okay. I'm just going to ignore that message, jump into to Vim and do our typical Packer install. And you see Packer went ahead and installed comment.envim. Great. So I'll restart uh, NeoVim again. Awesome. So now that we have comment installed, what are the, what are the some what are some cool things that we can do with it? Well, the default key mappings are GCC and GC. So if you want to just comment a line while in insert mode, you would use GCC. And you can see there that the require settings line has been commented. And to uncomment it, you would do the same thing, GCC. And now that line has been uncommented. Now GC works in visual mode. So say I want to want to comment all of these lines. So I would hit GC in visual mode, and it would comment all of the lines that I've had selected. Now I'm going to go ahead and uncomment that. Um, there's also a really cool block comment uh, hotkey that you can use. So let's jump into a file where I think this would be better for this demonstration. Um, well, let's go into plugin configs. Say I wanted to comment this, but not each line individually, but as a block. So you can hit GB and you can see here it's now um, it's now done block comments instead of per line comments. So it's just really cool. It works uh, for a lot of languages um, and it also has a tree sitter integration. So if you haven't seen that tree sitter video on how to install it, install language parsers, I'd recommend to watch that video first before you try to uh, integrate this with tree sitter. But that's comment.envim, very simple plugin. It'll help your workflow. It's helped my workflow tremendously. And uh, next week, we'll uh, dive into some other plugin. I haven't decided on which plugin yet, but if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, yeah, and that's it. Have a great day.